in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States. Okay, I'm trying to memorize the preamble to the Constitution. I know that in Mr. Langley's videos this week, um, he's talking about the preamble, and I think he has challenged you to uh, memorize it, so I'm trying to memorize it too. Um, this is what I have with me today. Um, you can print that out, or you can just follow along with me. Um, so this lesson is all about the preamble to the Constitution and what it really means. So here is the preamble right here, and you can use this to help you memorize. And in the next section, we'll talk about what each few sentences mean. Okay, so the preamble goes like this. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, and promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. I'm getting there. Okay, so that sounds really nice, or pretty words, but what does it actually mean? All right, so let's start with we the people. We the people means that the document is for and by the people of the country. Um, we're a democracy and this uh, constitution was developed, it was written, created by our representatives. So it's we the people, not you guys or something like that, but all of us. In order to form a more perfect union, Remember, they got together to write the Constitution because the Articles of Federation were not strong enough to really form a united states. So this is in order to make it better, in order to make it so that our country is more than just a group of states, so that we're really working together. And then establish justice. Well, that means that we are going to have a fair legal system. Establish justice. Make a fair legal system domestic tranquility. So this is we'll keep things peaceful and safe in our country. Provide for the common defense. The common defense, that means defending all of us. So that means that you could, we can raise an army. Um, all, any of the armed forces are part of our common defense. Promote the general welfare. And this one means that we're gonna make laws that will keep us safe and healthy. If you think about right now, um, our education system, our um, healthcare system, things like that are about keeping our people safe and healthy. Secure the blessings of liberty. This means we're free and we have rights. Of course, at the time that they wrote this, it wasn't talking about everybody, right? Um, and then to ourselves and our posterity. So that means for us, all of these things for us, and our posterity means the people who come after us. So now and forever. Do ordain and establish. That part means we created this document, we agreed on this document. That's the do or ordain and establish. Um, the Constitution of the United States of America. So that's what the preamble means. It means that we wrote it in order to make ourselves a better, more cohesive, together group of states, to have a fair legal system, to keep people safe, um, to defend us from foreign powers with um, an army and other armed forces, to promote general welfare, to, mean, to make laws that keep us happy and safe, to ensure our freedom and our rights now and forever. We've written this for the United States of America. Okay, so work on memorizing that. Let's see if I'm any better. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, 
pro provide for the common defense, ensure the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves oh, and posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. I'm getting closer. Keep working on it. Now, there's something else we're going to do today, and that is um, to get ourselves ready to make our sort of the thing that we're the product for this lesson, and that is one of these. So you'll notice this has the preamble written on this side, and then all of these sections with the arrows are pointing to the little sections and what they really mean. So um, you'll notice this paper kind of looks like old timey fashion D paper. Like, um, so I'm gonna make some of that and I'm gonna show you how to make it in case you have never done that before. So what you'll need is, um, I used two pieces of paper that I got out of my printer. Um, if you have one big piece of paper, you don't need to do that. And um, you also need some tea. You could also use brown watercolor paint. I even did it with coffee once and it worked okay. So this is black tea. Um, if you use something, some kind of herbal tea, it, it won't be dark enough. So if your parents have black tea, that's great. If they have some leftover coffee that you could water down a little bit, if you have brown watercolors. And the first thing you do is sprinkle up the paper, both pieces. This is also how Leonardo makes an origami ball. Okay, then after you've crinkled it up, you're going to uncrinkle it, flatten it out, and now you've got your tea and a big paintbrush. And you're just going to put that paint on there, or that tea or coffee or watercolor, or whatever you decided to use. If you don't want to do this part, you don't have to, but I think it's kind of fun. And if you've been following along these lessons, you have a lot of cool documents, some cool posters, cool books, that really cool infographic we made. So just make sure that you've covered all of it with some of the tea or whatever you're using. Okay, you do one. Just leave it to dry. If it's a warm enough day to put outside on um, the sidewalk or a chair or something, that's a good way to do it. If it's not, if you just leave it on the table somewhere in your house, it will dry by tomorrow when we are making our preamble. Okay, so you want to come over here, cameraman? Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So by tomorrow, those will be dry and kind of have that old fashioned paper look. All right. And if it doesn't come out dark enough for you and you want it darker, you can, after it dries, you can do a second coat as well. Okay. There it is. Just put it someplace to dry. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.